recent years, serious disease outbreaks have put a new focus on the crucial process of how we develop, test, and approve vaccinations in the United States. The Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP, may be unfamiliar to many Americans, yet its role in protecting and improving the nation's health is critical. The committee and its work have been a part of our lives, protecting our health since the mid-20th century. For more than 50 years, the committee has advised the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, also known as the CDC, on vaccination recommendations for all Americans, including who should get which vaccine and when, as well as precautions and contraindications to vaccination. Its recommendations are reviewed and adopted by CDC as standards of care for clinicians across the country. So who makes up the committee and how does it reach decisions about guidance? The ACIP consists of experts selected by the U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services following an application and nomination process. Most of the members are experts in vaccinology, immunology, pediatrics, internal medicine, or other important health fields. And one voting member represents consumers, offering views on the social and community aspects of vaccination. The committee also has non-voting representatives from highly regarded public health and healthcare professional organizations and ex officio members representing other federal agencies. It's important to note committee members must declare any conflicts of interest and recuse themselves from discussions or votes if their conflicts are considered a concern. These committee members know a lot about vaccines, medicine, and public health, but their knowledge is only part of the recommendation development process. Before making a recommendation, ACIP members carefully review the data and information for each vaccine. They consider the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine when given at specific ages. After FDA approves or authorizes a vaccine, ACIP reviews the rigorous studies conducted by vaccine manufacturers to ensure that a vaccine is safe and effective at specific ages. Committee members evaluate the severity of the disease and the vaccine's effectiveness in addressing the burden of disease. Vaccines recommended for children and adults help prevent diseases that can be serious, potentially causing long-term health problems or death. Some vaccines are recommended for everyone. Others may only be recommended for certain people based on their age or other risk factors. Sometimes a patient and their healthcare provider will decide together whether there is a benefit from vaccination. Committee members also examine how feasible the recommendations are to put into practice. Factors that can impact the implementation of a vaccine recommendation can also be considered. A widely used standard for assessing information known as GRADE or Grading of Recommendations, Assessment, Development, and Evaluation is applied in reviewing the information about a vaccine. The results from this grade assessment and other evidence that ACIP considers when making a recommendation is presented using the ETR, or the Evidence to Recommendations Framework. This method considers key factors, including the balance of benefits and harms, the type and quality of evidence, values and preferences of the people affected, and a health economic analysis. Community impacts and reactions are also considered, as is the impact on health equity. Discussions and deliberations occur during ACIP meetings, which are open to the public. The meetings also offer a public comment period for community input to be shared before a final decision is made. These actions provide transparency around the committee's decisions and judgments. Yes. McNally, yes. Oh. If there is enough information to move forward with a vaccine recommendation, a quorum is required for the committee to act. Once the ACIP makes a recommendation, the CDC director will approve, amend, or reject the recommendation. If approved, the recommendation is published in CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report and upon publication represents the official recommendation in the United States. Understanding the process and importance of ACIP recommendations help healthcare professionals feel confident that the vaccines they recommend to their patients are safe and effective. Visit the CDC's website for additional information on ACIP and to view the most up-to-date vaccine recommendations for your clinical practice.